Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations coming at you today with another video on Cookie Run Kingdom. And today, we're going to be diving into everything that you need to know about the brand new cookie, Strawberry Crave. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen, to the strawberry crepe cookie. And you can see, I obviously got lucky more than once when it came to pulling on this bad boy. We actually got a total of three individual summons um, of him. So again, thank you very much, RNGesus. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys didn't see that live stream summons, it was absolutely insane um, stream summoning luck, man. I'll pop it up somewhere here on screen for you guys to take advantage of and check it out because it's ridiculously cool. Um, but anyways, as you can see here, Strawberry Crepe Cookie is going to be a defensive cookie, not a charger. Um, now, keep that in mind. I know a lot of people were confused, and I think some of the leaks even said that it was going to be potentially be a charger cookie. Well, it's not. It's a defense cookie, and it's going to take place in the front row. So let's go ahead and check out his skill and what makes him really, really cool and unique so the first thing we got here is going to be he uses the giant crepe arms to create area damage reduces damage received by two cookies with the lowest max hp and skill cannot be applied to summoned allies all right so basically to sum it up what is basically give you a better english translation it's going to be um when the crepe thrust actually pops off or you know um, strawberry crepe cookies um skill pops in combat it will actually reduce the damage that that two cookies with the lowest max hp on your team Team, um, at that time, uh, will basically reduce the damage they receive by 50% for eight seconds, man. That's absolutely ridiculous, all right? I'll show you some combat here in a second, and we'll talk about what content is absolutely the best for Strawberry Crate. But before we do, let's go ahead and hop into the official toppings, all right? Alrighty, so as you can see here right now, we are currently running Strawberry Crepe on a Swift Chocolate set, all right? Now, you might be completely confused. I understand. I get it. I get it. Settle down for one one second just hear me out hear me out now the reason why we are actually utilizing a defense cookie like strawberry crepe i'm um, in running um strawberry crepe on a cooldown reduction set and not um a flat defense set like we did you know milk for you know, ages ago, all right? If you guys don't already know, Milk used to be super meta, but one of the biggest differences is gonna come down to the individual skills and what the skills offer, all right? So yes, they are both defense cookies. Yes, they are both frontline cookies. However, their skills set them apart, all right? So if you remember back in the day, again, I'm saying back in the day, some new players might still be utilizing Milk until they get something better, but for me, it was back in the day. I haven't used Milk Cookie in a long time. But anyways, as you can see currently here right now, um, you know, Milk Cookie has, an, has a couple of different abilities attached to his skill the first one is going to be a taunt right which is going to make all the enemies you know attack milk focus fire and attack milk all right the next thing you need to know is it's going to directly reduce the incoming damage while his ability is going off or his aka taunt is going off and that's going to enhance basically his ability to you know stay alive all right and now with that being said that's going to be 100 the reason why for somebody like milk cookie you want to stack up you know defense defense and defense because that's going to be less damage that he is going that she she technically um, is going to be, you know, taking. And not only that, you want to make sure that she stays alive the longest because she's going to be pulling in those enemies to focus fire her, which then will allow you to do more DPS to hopefully kill those enemies off before they end up killing off milk. All right. Now, that's going to be the reason why um, you were going to be running something like a flat defense set or something on, you know, milk specifically. Now, diving back into the strawberry crepe, the reason why we are utilizing swift chocolates and not a flat defense is going to be because of. Um, strawberry crepe skill and because it allows and gives a 50 percent damage resistance to of your cookies with the lowest max hp you want to make sure that you are utilizing this skill as much as possible as often as possible to keep that 50 percent damage resistance buff basically uh, up 100 percent of the time on those two cookies because you're going to be getting the most out of the skill by doing this and it's going to directly allow your healers specifically to stay alive all right if you guys don't already know most of the time your healers are going to be a couple levels lower than your DPS units to allow you to progress further in whatever content you are covering. And with that being said, most of the healing um, of cookies that you're going to be running are going to have the least amount of HP, aka this works wonders because you're going to be able to run um, Strawberry Crepe on a cooldown 
set, which is going to allow you to constantly keep a 50% damage resistance buff um, on your individual healers, all right? So again, just keep that in mind. That's gonna be the reason why you're gonna want to run and focus on running Swift Chocolates, AKA cooldown toppings um, on Strawberry Crepe. All right, so for the first thing that I wanna show you guys is just gonna kind of give you a breakdown of the overall skill and how Strawberry Crepe actually utilizes the skill, all right? So we're using pure vanilla currently here, Espresso, and not only that, we're gonna use that level 30 um, Strawberry Crepe that does have a um, full uh, cooldown reduction toppings on them, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and load in here again. I haven't done anything special, Level only, only 13,000 power and only one promotion. So let's go ahead and click on this. We're gonna run this really fast. I just wanna show you um, a pretty much, you know, breakdown on how the skills actually work. And that's why we're utilizing three cookies, just because it's a little bit easier to understand. So you can see Sharpie Crepe is gonna use hers, um, uh, use his skill. It's going to then reduce the damage that Espresso and um, Pure Vanilla directly take, all right? Now, again, this stage is gonna be super easy um, for us to cover, even though Strawberry Crepe is only level 30, just because um, of this team composition and basically how it all works. If you guys don't know, Strawberry Crepe works absolutely insanely good um, when um, uh, with somebody like Pure Vanilla, because Pure Vanilla has that instant heals and has a shield, um, and then on top of that, Strawberry Crepe is also good, then going to reduce the amount of damage um, that can also be taken by 50%. So just this absolutely absurd um, combination. But anyways, you guys pretty much get an idea here of how the skill works. Already diving into the next part of combat that I want to show you guys or gameplay, and that's going to be the actual arena, man. If you guys do not know, this is going to be where Strawberry Crepe actually excels and really, really shines, all right? Uh, I mean, Strawberry Crepe is decent in the um, overall world exploration mode, but definitely not going to be number one on the list. Dark Chaco still holds that title 100%. Um, the damage reduction on the enemy team is going to be way far superior in the world exploration, um, with the exception of maybe you don't have a Dark Chaco and you did get a copy of Strawberry Crepe, then obviously utilize Strawberry Crepe um, for your world exploration. But basically diving in here to the overall top tier ranks. And not only that, I'm not only just looking at the top tier ranks, I have talked to a couple of individual top tier players, um, and some of those are going to be from the Wist Takers Guild. Again, thank you guys very much for sharing this information with me, but nevertheless, like I said, they are also um, stating that this is going to directly replace um, Dark Chaco um, at, entirely from the arena. Dark Chaco basically at this point has no point um, in the arena unless you do not have a copy of Strawberry Crepe, all right? Now, that's just going to be 100% the way it is, and the reason being um, behind this is going to be because Dark Chaco will then basically reduce the defense, right? 20% reduction on the enemy team, all right? Which again, I'm saying that is anything bad. You could definitely run that team composition. However, Strawberry Crepe has definitely absolutely obliterated that meta because Strawberry Crepe is going to uh, uh, basically add 50% damage resistance to two cookies on your team. So you're getting a 50% damage resistance buff to your individual cookies on top of your entire team composition and what they're already providing. So that's going to be far superior in something like the arena because you just basically, you just can't beat it, man. You can't argue with it. It's a no brainer. 50% damage reduction for two individual cookies versus um, adding 20% damage reduction to the enemy team in whole. Nah, definitely, absolutely. Um, shifts that meta and breaks that meta. Now, by the way, another little side tip, if you don't know, um, some of the meta in the arena is actually shifting as well to a double healing um, comp, man. You can actually be running Pure Vanilla, the brand new Pure Vanilla in Herb. Both of those together with a Strawberry Crepe is absolutely um, dominating. So you can see here, man, I mean, just even just in the top 10, everybody's got a Strawberry Crepe. Um, most of everybody's replacing Dark Chaco. You can see like this number nine did not. I'm assuming that's because either they have not got lucky and pulled <laughs> enough copies of strawberry crepe yet or um they don't know about the meta but you can see here i mean as you can scroll down i mean everybody is starting to utilize um you know strawberry crepe i mean even in the top 120 you can see all the way down strawberry crepe is going to be blowing up everywhere um for all of those whale players anybody that can basically dive in and whale out and get a max star strawberry crepe 100 worth it that's going to be where strawberry crepe excels but that's going to be it for me ladies and gentlemen again if you guys have any additional questions when it comes to strawberry crepe drop your comments and stuff down below or you can check me out in my official discord hit me up on a dm or something and i'll do my best um, to answer any questions that i have but i but basically my synopsis over top of it strawberry crepe really really good op basically meta shifting i um, in the overall kingdom arena however in world exploration you know nothing really too crazy there i still think dark chaco takes that spot as number one um but that's gonna be it for me ladies and gentlemen so please be sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notification every time we drop a video and i will see you guys in the next one